So I'm using this cutting mat. You do need a cutting mat. My rotary knife blade, knife cutter, these little scissors. This thread, it does have to be a thread that you can't rip at all because you don't want it to rip middle of your sewing. I'm using this needle and I have all these items linked in the description below. You do need a specific needle. I have been doing this since 2018 and I went through a ton of needles. But yeah, if it's too long and too thin, it's gonna bend. If it's too thick, it's not gonna go through the fabric. And I am using this double brush fabric. It's a stretchy fabric. I think this is 180 grams. You could use that up to 200. Otherwise, I think it might be a little bit too thick. But you do need a stretchy fabric. Um, this is my favorite fabric to use for these head wrap hats. I also use stretchy rib knit. This is a wide rib. I do have it on my website and I do have custom prints. Also, bamboo. This is, I think, the best fabric to use for babies. I feel like it doesn't hold up as well as this one does, but this is bamboo, you know, and it is more expensive usually. Um, I also have this fabric, this exact print and this fabric on my website listed. And the main thing you will need is the head wrap pattern. I do have mine. It's available on my website. I have it linked up or it's going to pop up right now on the top right corner. Once you print the pattern, you could use the printed paper. But I traced my paper on this cardstock and I actually been using and using and using this one. Anyway, this is my toddler size. I'm going to make a toddler size for my... 19 and a half month toddler excuse the mess but i need to zoom out so you could see everything okay so this is gonna be for a bun okay this is my fabric and i have two ends to my fabric when i cut a bunch of these out so one and i keep it straight and this is the part where i cut out the actual head wrap pad part anyway so fold your fabric in half you need the stretch to go this way so you can see the i think this is called the salvage ends so i have them meet together and i like to fold in half and then again so it looks like that and i'm gonna cut a strip about two inches doesn't have to be perfect i'm gonna use my rotary cutter And this is what I'm gonna use for my bun. I'm gonna put this to the side. Now for the hat part, here's my fabric, here's my salvage, and you want the stretch to go this way. Uh, some are four-way stretch, but the biggest stretch you want it this way. And I am going to fold this in half. Here's my little template. And I'm just gonna hold it down and cut around it. And I'm just gonna cut. And that's it. I usually do that and I throw this away. And I am going to cut out a bow part. So the bow part, here's your salvage end. And I am actually going to fold it this way now. And you could use a printout from the pattern I already know what size I need to cut it, so I'm just going to cut it. All right, so I'm going to work on the hat. Okay, so I'm going to get my thread and my needle. And you want to kind of have enough thread. So then you you don't end up re-threading it middle of making the hat. But here it is. Here's my thread. I do not tie the end. Okay, so here's my fabric. This is the right side. This is the wrong side. And I'm going to sew over here on the round part. Okay, so here's my edge. This is the right side. This is the wrong side facing me. I'm going to put my needle from behind like this. Pretty close to the edge. And I'm going to go like this in and out. Um, like an accordion. And I'm going to do this all the way to the end. And I don't put my string through just yet. I like to go all the way down just on my needle. See, like that. 
and this is a toddler size uh, newborn size is the fastest and a little bit easier to work with just because it's less fabric child adult sizes it's more definitely more fabric okay before I come to the end it's really important that this edge is facing the same way as this edge okay wrong side the right side here we go okay so here it is hopefully you understand what I'm saying I'm going to hold this down and pull it through don't pull the thread all the way you need to leave a little bit now I'm gonna put it on my lap I just stick the needle in my shorts <laughs> I want leggings. I'm usually wearing leggings when I do this. And I'm going to tie a knot like this. You have to tie it pretty tight and double knot it. And then I just do a third knot. I'm going to cut off this extra string, not too close. Just leave a little bit. So I'm going to lay it down. This is the wrong side. Okay, see this little flap? So you have to grab all the edges of these folded, every single one of them. And I usually just grab about eight. And you're going to pull this through and then go to the other side and grab eight more. I'll pull it through. And now I'm gonna go back to the right side. And right here where my string came out, I'm going to pull this through, go back to this one where my string came out, finish it right here. And then you want to tighten it and just for now leave it as this like this because we're going to come back to it. And what I like to do, I just like to quickly put it through and like a loop, tie a knot. Now I'm going to straighten this out and this is where you want to make it all nice. Okay, now it looks nice. I'm going to get my needle and I'm going to put my hand inside the hat like that. And I'm just going to sew these together by starting at the first loop. So I'm just closing up this hole. And I'm gonna grab a bunch of them like this and leave this loop. Pull my pull my needle through. It's like tying a knot. Okay, I'm gonna put this to the side and now I'm gonna make the button. Okay, here is my my strip of fabric. It's not cut perfect, but it's fine. And it's folded in half, and I'm gonna leave it like that. This is my wrong side. This is my right side. And I'm gonna tie a knot. Like this. Now this little flap, I'm going to put this through. Like this. Um, I don't like these curled edges because they're kind of bulky. So you could cut it off before you do this or cut it off in the middle of it like I'm doing. Anyway, this might be kind of the hard part. And so you have to hold this down. And here the long string. I'm going to put it like that through the hole while still holding that extra stuff. And while I'm still holding it, I'm gonna do it right here again. All right, and now I'm good to go. I'm gonna go around and this is the way I do it. So here's the raw edge. I don't like to see the raw edge on my bun. What I do, I kind of fold this inside like a tiny bit and put it over this raw edge. 
pull this through and I keep doing that. So here's my little raw edges. I'm going to hide this one. So you're making a bun, but this is how I do it. And you know how I have it folded into twos? See that? This is the back side. I'm going to cut this one. Pull on it and cut it. And I have to hold this cut part. And I only have one strip left. Just like this. The reason why I do that because I don't want the bun to end bulky. And I'm going to go around. Okay, so this is two inches. Here it is. There you go. That's pretty good. So back to my hat. I'm going to have it laid down all perfect. You, This is the important part. You want it to be perfect and these folds you want it to be as evenly spaced as possible here's my bun here's the end this is the bottom of it okay and here's a little string that's left over i'm gonna hold it down and i'm gonna cut it i'm going to get my needle and i'm gonna put through this strip once I do that, here's my bun. I'm gonna go like this, through my bun. And put the string, and I'm gonna flip it over like this. Here it is. And I sew all my buns on. I don't glue them on. I hate how it looks like with glued on. Um, okay, I'm gonna put my hand inside the hat and hold the bun. And this is how I'm going to sew it on. You see these little folds? My string's coming out. I'm going to grab about three folds. Three folds. And I'm going to go into the hat like this. I mean the bun, sorry. Pull this through. And you have to pull it tight. So I'm going to go back to the last third fold that I went out of. See? I'm going to put my needle through it. One, two, three. Okay, and I'm gonna put this back inside the bun. But where I'm gonna do it at, see where my string's coming out? I'm gonna do it before the string's coming out, like this. Pull it tight, okay. Now I'm gonna go back again to the last third, and I'm gonna grab three more of these, two more, see? One, two, three. Put my needle before where the string came out last time and you have to do this around the whole button it's kind of a lot of work and when I pull the string um, if I have to make more than five of these I have to put a bandaid right here because the string will cut your hand right here now I'm over here where it splits off right here so you want to grab this the last one like that and then you grab this one and mine actually came out perfect where it's the third one but even if it's not the third one if it's the fourth one you make sure you grab the other one see where it splits up make sure you grab this one because you want to kind of close it up like that um Okay, and then I'm at the end right here, so just finish it up. Okay, right here at the end, you're going to go in and you're going to go right in, out here to the front. Okay, so my thread is almost ending, so this is why it's important to have like kind of a long thread. And right here, I want to make it even more perfect, so... I'm going to move this to the side, grab this. I just 
it's just how I do it. And then I'm going to put it back in. And you could see it kind of became like a perfect little donut. I'm going to go back here. And this is where I am going to close this whole thing up completely. Don't worry about that. I'm going to grab these two little flaps like this. I grab this side and I'm not going to pull the string all the way through. I'm going to actually pull my needle through a little hoop just because as I'm doing this, it's tying up the knots. I mean, it's tying up. Yeah, it's tying up the thread so it doesn't come undone. Um, okay, so I'm trying to grab all of these. There's my last one. There it is. And this is how you want it to look like on the inside. And this is fine. This is how it's supposed to be. I'm going to do it one more round right here and make it more perfect. Pull my string through. Twice. Double knots it and it's done. I'm going to cut this off. Don't cut it all the way to the end. Just like leave a little bit of string and it's fine. Also, feel this with your finger. If your double knot is pointy, you have to like kind of redo it. You don't want this to be poking the baby. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start on the bow. I'm gonna show you how to do the bow. Here is my folded fabric. This is the folded edge. I'm gonna sew over here first. And you want this part to stay stretchy. So do your stretchy, whatever stretch is setting you have. This is mine for my stretchy. I just change this to eight and this goes to eight as well. These stay at four and four. My side settings are this. This is just what it usually is. Um, if you're going to use sewing machine, this is my sewing machine. For the stretchy part, you could use a zigzag. You could use stretch thread i don't I use regular thread and instead of the zigzag part i do i do number eight just for the stretchy part okay so anyway you're gonna sew it all the way down This is fine if it's like that. It's meant to be stretchy. You want to keep stretchy. Now the edges, you don't want it stretchy. I'm going to go back to four over here. And on my sewing machine, I will just be using this regular stitch. And what you're going to do, just go all the way down, all the way down. For this part, I do cut it off right here where the two edges meet. Wait, no, where the two, what, I can't, It's I have such a hard time talking and recording a video at the same time. But I don't want to do a voiceover because I'm never going to end up editing this and it's just going to sit on my computer and the video is never going to get posted. And then right here, I just leave it because you don't want it to go apart. Anyway. Um, right here in the middle, I'm going to get my scissors, and I'm just going to cut them off. And flip this the right side out. There you go. And then you want these edges to be out, so either push a pencil through, or I just use my needle. And I get the corners out. Kind of gather this like this. And tie a knot. Like that. 
so when you're fixing it make sure the two sewn edges are on one side and the top fold it south of the top so kind of mess around with it to make it look nice I'm going to sew it kind of like I sew the hat but the first thing I do Here's my thread and I'm going to start off with the knotted part and I'm going to grab a few the bow like I don't know why I just don't like doing the bows I prefer to do the buns overall like just even folding them and everything yeah so you grab a few of these okay and now we're going to go to the back And do it really tight so you can't really see the string. That's why it's important to have a matching string. Okay, now we're in the back towards the edge. So I'm going to grab the edge of this bow like this. Now I'm on this side. And I am going to sew it on. Just like that. Just to this knot part of the bone at the flap itself. Now I'm on this side, kind of pull on it, and I'm going to put this through. I keep saying put this through. I'm so tired. It's already night. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, so grab the edge, and you're going to want to grab all of these. Sew it, and I have these two left here so I'm gonna grab both of these here's my middle where it splits grab both of these and go just like I did the bun where I have to go in front of the string where it came out and kind of want to make it even so here's two and three so there's one two three there you go and I'm actually gonna come out through the front kind of over here I hope this makes sense guys I'm sorry if it doesn't <laughs> and I'm gonna grab the edge again fold it over let's sew this part okay and now I'm here I'm gonna grab the bow just the edge of it and it will grab at least mine does it will grab the edge of it just kind of pull on it there you go okay so now I'm inside the hat and before I make this all closed up and nice here's this part with the bun, you don't have to do it because it just kind of closes up itself. With the bow, I do sew it together. So the way I sew it, basically think of it like that and being sewed together because it look this looks better than this. And the way I do it, this is this is just how I do it. You kind of grab a little bit from each side, pull the string to pull the string through. And I'm gonna go back inside like that and pull it tight. There you go, and that's it. And now I'm just gonna make it all nice in here. All right, and that's it. I'm gonna show you how um, I put these on my daughter, and I'm gonna add my labels to it. Um, that's if you want to know how I do that. That's going to be another video.